cabinet dwellers my beautiful people my beautiful cabinet dwellers oh i'm so tired oh i recorded thor and loki i will insert the videos here they were going at it last night look at this shit Oh my god. It was so annoying. Ugh. And then I had to get up at so I'll show you the box. I also took a video this morning. Another video. Cause first it was Bank and Loki. I went upstairs. I lay down, it was like one o'clock or something. Thor and Loki, or Binks and Loki were doing this shit like a good portion of the night. And I'm like, what the fuck are y'all doing? Like, Jesus Christ, you know? Like they were getting on my nerves. And then um, Thor comes up into the mix. And then I'll show you what I recorded when I came downstairs this morning. These two assholes in this fucking box. This box was in our bedroom last night. I had to bring it down at 6 o'clock this morning because they just wouldn't stop. I had to get up. I woke up. First hubby got up at six because Thor was in that box and all you hear was him tearing up the fucking box on the inside. And I'm like, oh my God. Like, are you kidding me right now? Like, it was like so annoying. And then I heard hubby get up and then I heard him like kind of shoo the cats up, like whatever. And I have nose. So, yeah, so I kind of heard him, like, shoo the cat. And then I went back to sleep. 6.30, I'm awoken out of my sleep. 
and Thor is back in the box. I got so fucking pissed. I got up, I literally dumped the box upside down, dumped Thor out. It was close to the floor. I'm not like, hur, hur. you know, I picked it up. I shook him out. I threw the fucking box down the steps, went to the bathroom, took my thyroid medicine, went back to sleep. And then here it comes bang, meow, 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 meow. This has been like two fucking weeks of her just nonstop. Like I didn't really care too much about this week because what did I really have to do? But it, like last night and the night before, it was really bad. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, can we knock this shit fucking off now? Because I have to go to work here soon. And I have off tomorrow, but go back Tuesday and it's going to be testing. I can't, like, testing's already going to be boring as fuck. Like, I need to try to be awake. Like, I'm going to need my sleep. So I'm like, oh my god, she was just non-fucking-stop, like, all night. And then, like, it was bad, like, really bad. Like, she just kept waking me up all night. And then, finally, I remember looking at my watch. It was, like, 4 o'clock in the morning, and I'm like, oh my god, Binky's, like, you're really making me mad, you know? And, uh, So I kept pushing her away and she like, I touch her and it was, I'm like, no, it's, no, go away. I'm like, no, like go to bed or something, go to sleep, lay down. And then like, I, then I just take her and I pull her close to me and hold her like, not tight, but I was, I would hold her like, just like calm her down. Like, okay, here, lay down, go to sleep. No. I'm like, oh my god. So then, then she get up and then she's like up and down off the bed. Like, what is she doing? She jumps. She jumps down off the bed. Then you hear her meowing all over the bedroom. I'm like, oh my aching ass, Binkies. And then I hear hubby. He's tossing and turning, and I'm like, I know it's because of Banks. And I'm like, Banks, Banks. I'm like trying to get her to come back up. I'm like, oh my god. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, I was so tired. And, like, I would keep falling asleep, but then she would keep waking me up. But it was just... Mm. It was bad. And then she gets right up in my face. I'm like... And I'm like... And then don't let me bury myself because she just tries and she'll just dig the blankets off today might actually be a nap day so i don't know but i'm gonna drink a cup of coffee and then i'm gonna go take my shower because i definitely need one and because i didn't get one yesterday and get ready for Ooh, what earrings do I want to wear? I have these really cute earrings, like Easter earrings. Or I have the bunny ones with the butt, the bunny butt. My chocolate bunnies. Ugh, I'm so tired. I did get the vlog edited though because Binky's kept waking me up, so I finished editing it. It's uploading right now. So it is 8.24. I'll take my shower at 9. Alright y'all, I'll see y'all after that. I don't know what it is. I'm making my second cup of coffee. I just, I hate when she asks me, like, if I'm making breakfast, like she says, good morning, I'm like, good morning. And she's like, oh, you sound like you're sick. I said, it sounds like I'm fucking tired because I love my cats, but they kept me up all fucking night. And she's like, well, that's what hubby said. I'm like, okay. And she's just like, well, and she's like all dressed. I said, are you going to the gym? She's like, no, she's like, I'm going to get Duncan. I need to know if you're making breakfast. And I just looked at her like, are you kidding me right now? 
and I was just like, I need to get a shower, I need to get ready, I need to do, you know, and I was just like, fuck a breakfast, you know, is what I'm thinking, and I'm just like, I just looked at her, and I cut her a look, and she's like, I'm just asking, because we're ordering Dunkin', and I need to know if I need to get food or not, I'm like, we have hard-boiled eggs, it's Easter, we can eat the Easter eggs, she's like, well, don't we need them for hubby's lunch, and I'm like, I only need 10, we made 18, okay, so I'm just like, eat the fucking hard-boiled eggs. It's Easter. Eat the eggs. <sighs> well, I just need to know. You can't get up there now, can you? Oh my gosh, I guess I did. It might just be because I'm tired and I'm grouchy because I haven't gotten sleep in like the last two days. So it could just be that and it just irked the fuck out of me because it drives me nuts but what are what are our plans for dinner do you have a plan for dinner don't worry do you ever fucking go hungry no shut the fuck up oh she just got home fucking annoying i swear and i don't understand why they always have to order dunkin donuts anyway we have a coffee pot and dunkin donuts trash is coffee is trash so is starbucks I'd rather make my fucking coffee at home the way I like it. Fucking spend all that damn money on fucking shitty ass coffee. Okay, so I got Brayden's Easter stuff together before I wake him up. Hubby went and got him these two, like, metal ammo cans. He loves these things. He has a plastic one. He's always putting stuff in it. So, Hubby went and got him two of these. And then I got him, damn it, a Reese's peanut butter egg. And then I got him this Mega Blocks um, Cadillac thing. I don't know what it is. Oh my god, I had this in here all nice. I should have did it and vlogged as I was doing it. But I got him that, and then just some like little piggly, stupid stuff. Like the magnets, which is stuck to the side of the thing. I showed you that from yesterday. His own Tic Tacs. And then Hubby got him a $100 gift card, which I did have in here. So nice. Okay, I can do it. Oh, I don't know if that's going to demagnetize it or not. Okay, there we go. See? Nice. Okay. Oh, here's my outfit for today. I got today's colors orange, so I have this, and I'm wearing these jeans, my uh, ones I got from Shein. But because of the way I stand, I keep trying to fix, but my the, they don't go straight down because my legs don't go straight down because I'm like a little bow-legged. So they keep turning in, and I keep trying to like fix them and twist them. I don't care, it is what it is. I'm a chunky monkey. My knees are fucked up. What do you want me to do? All right, guys. Here's my makeup look for the day. I did some peeps because of where we're going. Mm. What do you guys think? Today's color is orange, but I do have orange on. And yeah. So super cute. Okay. I uh, need to finish getting ready because we have to like leave here shortly. So I'll see y'all after that. Bye. This is cool. Oh, I remember these. I used to have that car. This is their 40th anniversary. Yeah. This is a cool little store. Do you want it? No. Oh, you want to show dad? Sure. Got all this like old Hot Wheel stuff. If you want to look through them, baby, you can. Mm -hmm. 
Do you see all the old trucks up at the top? And down here at the bottom. Look, Brayden, I like that one. Is that a twin mill? No, that's a um, that other one. Is that one only five bucks, Brayden? We got those. I'm gonna take a picture so I remember to look for those. There's a lot of cute, like, awesome stuff here. Look at the old fire truck. What's that? <gasps> I like that. Is that only five bucks? 13. Uh, Still. Yeah. These premiums. Those are like the ones you have to like. These are all premiums. The ones you can only get from. Yeah, you have to like do the challenge, like challenge type things. Yeah. Look at this one. Yeah, that's all that has to be I like that a lot. That one's 12. I like that a lot. Do you think we should get that one? Do you like it? Yeah. I showed Brayden, he didn't really care. Oh, it's wait, behind us. Oh, that's like really old, old. What about this layer? I saw that one guy. I'm putting the wrong one back. No, I'm keeping my eyes out for like treasure hunt things. Well, you have to really look like up underneath of them. Yeah. Cause they hide them. Um, Right, this store is so cool. It's like literally a Funko Pop Haven. Fortnite. Look at all this stuff. Oh my god. Look at this stuff. The Nintendo DS Pokemon? Is this Sega? Sega Genesis? M oh my goodness. DVDs, VHS. Do you see the VHS? It's like a. Is this Shira and He Man? Oh my gosh. Look at that up there, Brayden. Look at that Technic up there. It's a remote control monster truck. Did you see that? All the way up top. Yeah, I'm not. Oh, these they got dishes all locked up. No, but look, it has locked with the camera. Yeah. That's pretty cool. All the Monster High stuff. Yoda. Somebody put the castle together. This is like hurting my fingers. Skeletor. Cassette tapes. Yes. Yeah, I have that's like a so we found this little yeah, I have a bigger one. So we found this like really cool like chakra type store. It's like my kind of place. And it's like so zen and you just smell the incense and it's I know these are pretty. How'd you know it was a moon star? Oh, it's a Moravian star. They're pretty. It's so, I absolutely love these. Like, I love, oh, that's a big one. I love these, but I, with the cats, I can't. You can't have them because cats. Yeah, especially the feather ones. That one's so cute. They will, but I love these so much. 
things. Look at the clouds. I know I had to tie my black one up because they kept jumping up and getting up. But I love these. Like, you remember what they did with the bird and the butterfly thing? You got them? What? They, they yeah. They ripped the bird one to shreds. This is like a chakra thing. I love that. I like rainbows so much, the chakras. That's a wolf. I'm not really too big into the wolf thing. Like, wolves are very magical, graceful. But look at all the crystals. This place is so cool. Look at this little fairy garden. $12 for that little unicorn. This is what I want. <gasps> look at the green man. Well, that went in the vlog. Something about a vagina. I don't know. Look at the little cat meditating cats. Oh my God, they're so cunning. Look at her. Look at the little dragon. Oh my gosh. See, it doesn't take much to make me happy. Oh my God. She is gorgeous. Oh my God. She's so pretty. Oh, this, she's probably expensive as a motherfucker. $84. No, we could go to Pennsylvania and go to Thomasville Flea Market and get them cheaper than this. That's eight. This is, but this is Amy. Where's Thomas? Healing stones. Mm -hmm. It's by right by my mom's house. It's literally an hour and a half. Well, you've been to my mom's house. You know how far that is. I love her. The fairies. Look at these. With a chakra box. Yeah. I, know. I want one of these so bad. Like one of the little palm things, but they they have oh look at that chalice. That's oh look at that one, it's got like a little flying thing. No, that's what I said, I didn't want to buy any of this stuff. Those are 75. Jen, are we gonna go to the fairy festival in May? Depends when it is. It's the first weekend in May. I like that. At Spoutwood? Westminster Paints. Hmm? Oh, I wouldn't buy it. But. I love the dragon. Well, you probably have to use real ones. What? Yeah. It's all marshmallow.
Oh, sorry, Brandon. I'm trying to get a picture of it. They roast marshmallows, aren't they roasting themselves? What is that supposed to be? That's uh, pretty insane. on the marshmallow. Just, it's a, just a big old Easter egg. Oh, it's a robo pee. Oh, wow. That one's amazing. Skibbity toilet? Are you serious?
Honestly, I would do something okay. like that. Ooh, walk match. Cute, a little storybook. It would probably be the Mountain Dew colored ones, but I think people paint them. from uh, Roblox, Brayden. The ship. That's that's a lot to look at right there. know what that's supposed to be.
That's crazy. Huh? Giant. Where? Yeah. There's more art. <laughs> you know where my last chip is going. Well, the Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Lip balm sets. Peep coffee. I got you peeps last year. I got you the hot tamales ones. I remember that. No, me. No. Peep plush. So we just did the peep show. It was like so super cute and fun. This horror shop. Oh, all the earrings and stuff. I'm trying to get a picture of that. What's up, my most beautiful people? So we got home a little while ago. I recorded and talked to you guys, but apparently I really need to start paying attention to the red part. Because it wasn't recording. But I came home, I made some taquitos. Because we didn't eat out. How do we live? We have food at home. We just spent all that money on groceries. Because usually we always try to go out to eat. But it wasn't a big deal. So I was like, that's fine. And he said he wanted taquitos. I said, that's fine. So that's what I threw in the air fryer. And then when I took him up his food, I changed my clothes. And here, ah, that hurts. Ooh, you know, like when you wear your hair a certain way and then you go to take it out and it's like, it feels funny. That's just what happened. But yeah. So, I had a couple taquitos. debating what if I should nap. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. We'll see. But it's like 4 o'clock already. 3.30. Oh, I am pretty tired. So... We'll see what the day brings. And the peep show was really cool. Hubby wants to do it next year. He was like, he said, I should make one and he should make one. <clears throat> I was like, that'd be pretty cool. Tis spring. It 
is that time of year, friends. It's chilly out. It's 62. Where'd he go? We had some big branches come down last night. Well, where'd he go? I was trying to follow him. I hate our backyard so much. Hmm. Every time we're outside. Callie, what are you doing? What? Go eat your dinner. Hubs is getting ready to clean the grill. Make some steaks. It's actually not that bad. No, I need to get the cover washed. Can I put it in the washing machine? Mm. It's like a canvas, so I guess I could probably yeah, wash I it. I wouldn't uh, dry it. No. Keep on going. That's not bad. Mm -mm. Hey, she's back up. <laughs> okay. I'm glaring at you. Do you want me to slice the veggies? Yeah. We're doing peppers and onions and the asparagus. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Add some seasonings to it. I already got butter. Well, the butter. Oh, it's already on. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, on bottom. But the butter uh, is what usually. Well, you'll just do it on there. What seasonings do you want? You want like the Greek style, or we have so many seasonings. Oh, uh, those steaks you brought in just need to be sliced into thin parts, and then we're gonna marinate them for jerky. Okay. Is that still good? Yep. Still, it's still basically new. Okay. It's the other side. <laughs> All right. Callie. She's so mad right now. All right. Well, I'm going to go make cucumber salad too, so. It's for years. You know what I want to do? I want to get some crab meat. Yeah. Make deviled eggs and crab meat on it. I've seen that. Have you seen the fried deviled eggs? But I. Well, you saw that they have the pork rinds that are now for breadcrumbs. Or you can put up that other shelf. Oh, you got big ones? We have the other big ones in the house. I didn't know where any of them were. They're, no, so. they're in the drawer. You should have asked me. Because I put them all in the drawer and, and kept them uh, separate from everything. You got it? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we got them. Craig, them. I just pulled them. Yeah, I kept them separate from everything. No. Mm -mm. All right. Well, here we go, chop veggies. All righty, folks. Hubby gave me these books. I guess they came with his thing. Pancakes and French toast, quesadilla and tacos, gyros and wraps. So do you guys call them heroes or gyros? Because I always called them gyros, and that's what I grew up calling them. Sandwiches and hot dogs, noodles and rice, steaks, beef, fish, and etc. Flank steak and salmon is this the same thing it's the same thing and this book's all jacked up so all right so we have some asparagus i need to um cut that up and then i also need to i have chicken in the sink um, we're gonna cut peppers and all that other good stuff. So peppers, onions, asparagus. Oh, he's got mushrooms. Ugh. Anyway, so that's what we're doing. All right, so I got my asparagus rinsed and I got the bottoms all chopped off. I'm gonna try to give this one, Jesus, they don't want you to get into this shit, do they? All right, so hopefully this is decent. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, I see you. It looks like wires, but it's not. So I got this from Amazon, it was $12. And, oh okay, so this goes. Oh, this, okay, so this is locked. And then I can, oh, I can adjust. All right, I'm down with that. And then this slides, this was down, right down in here, wasn't it? 
Okay. Well, we'll see. I wish it was like actually. Oh no, it does. It does. Okay. Yeah. See. Okay. I can. I can dig that. I can dig that. All right. So. Oh, what else is in there? Oh, a veggie peeler. All right. I'm not worried about the veggie peeler. So. All right. I'm gonna put this. Does this? This one doesn't have a stand, right? No. I'm just gonna put this like right over the bowl and just ch -ch 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 slide it right in there. We're gonna do our onion, we got peppers. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so here's the veggies, here's my peppers and my onions. I did it on the second setting and that's the thickness. I don't know how well you can see that. There's the thickness. So I got my onions and my peppers and my asparagus in here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of oil, not a lot. And um, hubby told me to season these. So I don't know exactly how I'm gonna season them. I might season them with a little bit of, um, let's see what I got up here. Should I do the Greek? Do I have the Greek down here? I think the Greek is in the cabinet. Smoked onion, caramelized onion butter. Hmm. All right, so I think I, what I decided is I am gonna use a little bit of the Greek blend, a little garlic and herb, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of oil and just like toss them. So we'll put some of this Greek blend in here. And then hubby's gonna have butter out there. So we'll put some of that in there. I'll put a little bit of olive oil in here just a little bit and then I'll toss the coat and then he also has mushrooms but I ain't fucking with them all right I'm tossing to coat these up separate these onions some of course that that chopper is nice because it is new so the blade is like nice and fresh you know what I mean so but I just wanted to toss them up a little bit. They smell really good. So I'm gonna take this out to hubby. I'm gonna get the steaks ready and the chicken. Ooh, get off, get off. All right, so I just asked hubby how he wants me to make and prep the steaks, but he's like, well, um, we think the grill's out of propane, but he said the tank feels heavy. We have one that we know that's definitely empty. So he's like, I think that's what it is. He's like, there's a flame and he's like, it's like, he can see it, but I don't know. So I think what I'm going to do in the meantime is I'm going to take this chicken out. I'm going to put it in a bag. I'm going to marinate the chicken because he's like, we might have to do it inside. It's already 730. We eat so late. What time? Okay. Like, my girlfriend makes fun of me all the time. She's like, y'all eat so damn late. She's like, you eat at my bedtime. Brayden, stop. He's taking the leaf blower and terrorizing the fucking cats. But what time do you guys normally eat dinner? Like, because my girlfriend, she laughs at me because she'll be like, are you cooking dinner? She'll, like, she'll text me at like 7.30, 8.30, and she'll be like, what are you doing? And I'm like, cooking dinner. And she'll be like, girl, y'all eat so damn late. They, she makes dinner and they eat at like 4.35. And that's it. I'm like just starting to cook at six, maybe seven. But like I told her, I said, the thing is though, I'm like, you figure wifey, when she works, like she doesn't normally get home until like, 7 30 8 o'clock most nights is when she's waltzing in you know so by the time i get done dinner dinner will be done you know and hubby comes home we all get home at four and i need to like woosah when i get home you know like i want to relax i want to chill i want to get my mind right because it's been a hectic busy day you know
And what I really need to start doing is when I come home from work, after my wusa, like between five and six, I need to make time to do my exercise or something. Go to the park, take a walk or something, drag great enough, like on nice days. I need to go do that. Like summertime, it'll be different. Like, cause days me and wifey don't go to the gym, we'll probably end up just going to the park because she does have another run or something coming up with said friend. Um, but I don't know. But yeah, so she's got another run to do with her. So I don't know. My eyes are watering pretty bad. They've been watering like really bad all day. I told y'all wifey went to patient first, right? She said that her throat's been hurting her the last two days. So, I don't know. But yeah. Oh my God. Oh, I put the wrong thing up there. Hold on a second. But yeah, so um, but I need to start making time for myself. And then when they do ferrets, like I need to take either that or do my therapy when I come home. Because that's like an hour. And I can do my therapy from 4.30 to 5.30. And then take a little nap. Get up by 6. Then make dinner. And then once dinner is done, do my workout. But they say you shouldn't work out. But then if I, if I can actually get to bed on time. Like if I can get to bed at like 12. I could get up around 6. Because I usually get up at 6.30. But if I could actually get up at six o'clock and not have anything to edit and worry about, I could do my workout in the morning because I have weights and stuff upstairs in my bedroom to do little morning workouts. So, which is what I was doing at the beginning of the school year. And then I would do here and there and I would post the videos that I, of what I would do because I have a whole bunch of them saved on my watch later list. So I don't know, I don't know. But I really need to figure something out because this just ain't it. And hopefully the medicine dosage change will help as well because at least when I was doing my 100, I was, I was losing. It was still up and down, but I haven't lost weight in a year, busting my balls. And I do need to crack down a little bit harder. And I, I need to track my food. It sounds good. I know I'm talking a good game and I know it. And my ADHD will be like, yeah, you're stupid. You're not going to do any of this. Like, I'm not going to allow you to do any of this. Like, I have plans. I would love to do it. The trick is actually getting me to do it. Don't let me get sidetracked because then that's it. But I know that about myself. You know what I mean? All right, how should we do this chicken? Some of this chicken is still a little... Um, should I just put some Montreal chicken seasoning in it? Or what? Some of it's still a little frozen. Some is. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of Montreal chicken seasoning in this. I'm not going to add a lot. Montreal chicken seasoning, I think I told you guys, is like my favorite. I actually haven't had the steak. My girlfriend uses the steak a lot. I haven't used the steak. But I'm going to pour some of that in there. You know what else I like that a lot of people don't like? Well, in my house is um, like Mrs. Dash. Do you guys ever use Mrs. Dash? Like, I think their seasonings are good. Probably be like, get that shit out of here. That's all I, would, I used to use. He would get so mad. So. All right. I'm just trying to mush all the seasonings and stuff around. They're still kind of cold. But I figured if I... I'll turn this light on. 
and sometimes the stove light helps them. Okay, so I'm gonna rinse this because now I'm gonna do super thin slices and I'm gonna make my cucumbers for my cucumber salad that I absolutely love. What are you doing for dinner tomorrow? I'm gonna pour it on there. Yeah. Hi, right, friends. So hubby went out today and him and wifey got meat for me to make jerky. Hubby's been wanting me to make beef jerky. So I'm going to make beef jerky. <sighs> anyway, so that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to eat some grapes out. I'm actually going to divvy some of this up and just put them in bowls so I can get rid of the big bowl in the fridge. That's the okay. Point. So I'm about to make my jerky glaze. I have in here some because it's going to marinate. I got I cut I cut both bags. So here I have some brown sugar. Now we're gonna add some onion powder. Put a little bit of onion powder in there. Um, garlic powder. Put some garlic powder in there. Smoked paprika. Black pepper. Some Worcestershire sister sauce. I guarantee you that's what this is. And some soy sauce. Mix, mix, mix. And then we're just gonna pour it in here. First, I'm gonna smoosh it all together and marinate it as best as I can. And then we're gonna suck the air out of it. I do not inhale that. Although I could taste it. But now it's nice and airtight. And I'm just gonna massage it all up in there. All right, so for the next bag for jerky, I'm gonna do a smoky applewood. Two tablespoons of oil, two tablespoons apple cider vinegar, and then two tablespoons of water. All right, now we're gonna mix this one up really good. All right, now that it's in there, you don't wanna mix this one up really good because it's really not a lot of seasoning. So you're gonna wanna massage, massage this like real good. Suck the air out of it. Massage it all in there. And there we go. We have our two jerky things. And now I'm going to put them in the fridge. And they're going to sit overnight. And they're going to marinate.
For me to go to bed, I had a Yasso bar. It's um, almost two o'clock in the morning. Gotta love that time blindness. Wifey wants to get up and go to the gym in the morning. I had to pack hubby's lunch, and I actually didn't start packing that till later. I threw out like a whole bunch of food, so Mr. Fox is like super happy because he's outside to eat the food. Even though know, wifey has strep, she still wants to go to the gym in the morning so um, I guess I'll just set my alarm or whatever I don't know and I also need to start the dishwasher because I always I have actually been um I was trying to see if I could see the fox um I've actually been doing oh he's over there hold on hold on Callie that's not the fox. Was the fox still out there? He was. I threw all the food out there. I did see him over there. I don't see him now. Dirty ass. I don't know how to clean my windows from the outside. I actually remember when um there was like a Windex thing. You can like hook up to your hose and you can spray the windows and you didn't have to like scrub them and stuff because we actually found lived here 10 years and we found a spigot out back by the ac but yeah <sighs> but yeah so i'm gonna start heading upstairs don't y'all start these fucking assholes but yeah, so we fed, I cleaned out some of the stuff in the fridge. I fed the fox. So he's happy. Um, and then I edited the vlog. I just left it like raw dog because we went like shopping. So like we like shopped around the mall. And I had said in the part, I totally forgot that I had like recorded this whole thing because like that ball was mall was pretty much like abandoned. And I'm actually really glad like like a lot of the bigger stores are closed but i'm actually really happy to see that there's like all kinds of stuff there's like a whole haunted house like whole haunted thing like in that haunted store we went in there was like a whole haunted house like you walk through and everything we didn't go through it but there was one in there and you go into like the haunted house but there's like last time we went there there was like hardly any stores open at all and now there's like more and more stores so i'm like i am so happy to see that so because malls are like dying and i love a good mall but yeah so um but yeah i'm gonna go head to bed so i can get my ass up in the morning and go to the gym and um get my life together so i will see you all tomorrow Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, please be kind because you don't know what kind of battle someone's going through. So don't be a dick. I love you all oh so, 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 oh so very much. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!